Hi brother, it's good to be with you. Uh, would you like to just share who you are and, and give us your name and and uh, tell us about why you're down at Hyde Park and, and how you came to know the Lord? Hi there brother, it's nice to meet you Jason. May the Lord bless you also. Yes, 100% I will talk about how my life was, how my life was when I became a Christian and how my life is now. I will start with when I was born, I never had a mum and dad, I never knew love, I never, I was starved of love in my life. I was brought up in a hospital because I had pneumonia. I was six years, from the year, from the time I was born to six year old, I was in a hospital because I had everything wrong with me. I should have died, but I didn't. Hallelujah, I'm still alive today. And from the age of six, my two little sisters and myself went to a foster family but then I became unruly. I became unruly, I became a disturbed child. I became under the uh, psychologist, a child psychologist to try to work me out. They couldn't work me out. My life was messed up. I ran away from my, my foster parents and I was on the streets and uh, men's hostels, just as a young, young boy, scared, terrified, frightened in life altogether and starved, starved of love, you know. From there, from there, I was in and out of prison. Uh, I, I done my first prison sentence for theft and everything else and violence and cutting myself and doing every overdoses. I know, uh, to cut a long story short, because I don't like to rap on about how my life was before Christ because I don't want the devil to, to get the glory. I want Jesus Christ to get the glory. And what is most important of all for me is that whether I was in and out of prison, in over a, a hundred psycho or hospitals in my life, a paddy cell in my life, a straight jacket in my life, I was three psychiatrists, three psychiatrists certified me insane. Certified me insane. Saying that I wasn't, saying that I was mad, literally, literally mad. I should have went to Broadmoor, Broadmoor wouldn't take me. I should have went to Rampton, Rampton didn't take me. I should have went to Park Lane in Liverpool, but they didn't take me either. But the psychiatrist, psychiatrist said I was mad. Psychiatrist said I was insane. Psychiatrist wrote a bit of paper, they signified, they signature saying that I was mad, that I was crazy, that I was violent because I was in and out of psychiatric hospital, over a hundred hospitals in my life, a paddy cell, a straight jacket in my life. But I'll tell you what it was, it's because I was starved. I was starved of love. I didn't know love. I didn't know love. I didn't know a mother and father to wrap me up in their arms and to say, you're my child, I love you. I never had any of that. When it come to birthday times, when it come to Christmas times, I'd run away, I want to cry, and want to, I, want to, I, want to, I want to hide because people would say to me, what did you receive your birthday? What did you receive for your Christmas? I received nothing. I was homeless. I was a beggar. I was a thief. So, and, 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 so from the moment I, 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 I lived all that life, I knew I didn't want to live that life anymore. I hated the life that I lived. And one day, one day I went to Samaritans in Edinburgh of where I was living at the time, on the streets of Edinburgh. I went to the Samaritans for help. And the Samaritans, the Samaritans said to me, sir, do you mind going round the corner? And I said, go round the corner to where? And they said, go around the corner because this person wants to meet with you. And I said, okay, I will go there. I went there, I went to Queen Street in Edinburgh. And I, when I went in, when I saw this building, it said Church of Scotland. It said Church of Scotland. I said, why would I want to go to the church? What's the church got to do with me? I hate this, why would I, and I wanted to run away, but something, something within me pulled me, pulled me into that building. When I went into that building, I met a girl by the name of Irene Colton, many, many years ago now, Irene Colton. When I sat in her office, on the, on the wall of that office was a burnt down tree and a new tree. And it, underneath it said, behold, I make all things new. And I asked, I asked the girl, what does that mean? And she said, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. I said, Jesus loves me? Jesus loved me? Why would he love me? What have I ever done that he, that he loved me? And she gave me a, a, a booklet, Journey Into Life. 
and I read that booklet and I cried for the first time I cried and I said what I didn't understand why I was crying but why was I crying and I said to her I said I remember the words to this day I said to her why am I crying I don't understand why I'm crying why am I crying and she said to me it's because Jesus loves you the father loves you I said I never had a mother I said I never had a mom and dad in my life I was starved of love I was violent I was crazy that's why I was set that's why I was certified insane by free psychiatrists I was certified listen folks I was certified insane by three psychiatrists to say that I should have went once again I say it, I should have went to Broadmoor Top Security Hospital I should have went to Rampton in Not Nottingham I should have went to Park Lane in Liverpool but they said no, they didn't want me. No one wanted me but this man, Jesus Christ. That day, he wanted me and he accepted me for who I am. And the Christian life that I have now, the Christian life that I have now, I have no desire to touch the bottle. I have no desire to self-harm. I have got no desire to want to fight and to be violent. I don't want to do these things now. Why? Because I believe I have Jesus Christ living in me. And I tell you now, whoever is watching this, whoever is watching this, you may be starved of love, you may never have known a mother and father in your life, but I tell you, I'm a living testimony that God loves you. God loves you. God is reaching deep down inside of your soul right now. And he says, I love you. I love you with a passion. I fearfully and wonderfully made you who you are. Come to me. And if you come to me, I tell you, I will never disappoint you. Never disappoint you. If you come to me, I will change your life. Just as you changed my life from the, the man that I used to be to the man that I am now is a totally different guy altogether. The Bible says, the Bible says, I am a new creation in him. The old has passed. The, my, my past is gone. My past is completely and utterly gone. Washed clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. The blood of Jesus Christ cleansed me from all sin. So today, right now, right now, as Martin is holding, as, as, as my brother is holding, Jason and my brother is holding this stand right now for me to share my testimony. My testimony is this, I once was blind, but now I see. And that's the truth. You've ever heard the words amazing grace? It's his amazing grace that reached deep down inside of me and changed me, totally changed me from the man I used to be to the man I am now. I love people now. I used to, ro I, I would love, I, I would rob people, I'd beg people, I'd rob people. I would not think of anything about doing these things to people. But, but, he changed my life. He changed my life. And through changing my life, that's why I'm in Hyde Park today, to share the love of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but it's the power of God unto salvation. Amen. Thanks, Amen. brother. Thanks. We're at Hyde Park. As you can see, it's busy there. And I'll just ask you one question before we go. So it's all busy, loads of people here. Yeah. One question, why should we tell people about Jesus? Why should we go out and tell people about Jesus? We should go out because we know what he has done for us. He has forgiven us. He has saved us from the clutches of a lost reality, a lost eternity from Almighty God. And God says, God says, those who honor me, I will honor. And Jesus gave the greatest commandment of all, go into the world and share the Gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is that he died for you and me. And the reason we should go out there into the park today or wherever we are, wherever we are in the world, the most important thing, if you love Jesus Christ, you will share the love of Jesus Christ. Like the woman at the well. She sent in, went into the village and said, listen, come meet this man who changed my life. And she was the greatest evangelist that ever lived apart from Jesus. Because she knew, she knew that burning of Jesus within her when Jesus spoke words to her. He spoke life into that woman's life. And that woman was never the same. That woman was totally changed. And that's why I'm here today, to share the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Why